Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk and in this session I am going to explain the execution of deployment plan in WebLogic. Okay, so deployment plan is a feature which is related with the deployment. Okay, so basically what we do when we do the deployments, okay, we do the same deployment of application in the different environments like from your development to testing to quality and then pre-prod and prod, right. And then there are a lot of configurations, those are uh, independent of the uh, of the environments okay the code is same but many times we have a certain kind of a descriptors or certain kind of environmental variables that is specifically applicable for the different environments okay so if we are doing a, this kind of a deployment in different de environments then what we need to do is we have to modify the code according to the different environments okay so now to overcome that there is a, a, is a feature in the web logic which is called the deployment plan where we can create the different kind of a descriptors which is environment specific in a separate xml file which is deployed outside of the uh, code file which is a jar var or er file okay and then the changes are get reflected whatever is defined in the deployment plan that means whatever the descriptor values are there in the code file will get overwritten by the contents or the descriptors which is defined in the deployment plan okay so this is an optional feature so when we do the deployments it's not really necessary to do to, to uh, go with the deployment plan as well but yes there are many situations where we need the deployment along with the deployment plan so that we when we move the application from one environment to different environments so instead of changing the code we just do the changes in the deployment plan and we redeploy the deployment plan which is just a single xml file so we don't need to have a downtime for the application code to be uh, undeploy and deploy again with the, uh, the new changes okay so you have to just deploy a single xml file which is called the deployment plan and the change will, changes will get reflected okay so now for this one again i am going to follow this uh, lab document from the digitalk okay and uh, if you need all of these uh, lab documents along with this one then uh, it's available with bare minimum cost so we have almost uh, 28 uh, plus documents now which is a 28 plus lab documents along with our 250 50 places uh, web logic handbook which is specifically designed for the beginners and for professionals okay with the help of uh, this lab documents you don't need to really go for some training or for some uh, kind of a uh, discussions with any of the experts right these are the self explanatory guide where you will get uh, the important critical features by explained okay and along with that there is a uh, execution and with a step by step screenshot for all the execution so you can do everything by your own okay without any assistant or without any help so uh, the first part is about deployment which is explained here why i have explained you what is the concept of deployment plan okay and then weblogic.plan generator is a utility which is be used to generate the deployment plan file okay i will go i will show you okay so now for what we will do we will deploy an application after that we will generate the deployment plan with the help of weblogic.plan generator utility and then we will override some of the descriptors in the file that we will deploy and then we will test if the changes are getting reflected or not okay so so first what we need is we have to uh, do a uh, deployment of the application right so let me go to my admin console and it, let me go to the deployment okay so what we will do here let me reiterate that we are going to deploy an application okay without deployment plan after that what we will do we will generate the deployment plan using this particular file which we have which we are going to deploy and then we will overwrite some descriptor values in the deployment plan then we will redeploy the uh, this application uh, along with, with the deployment plan and then we will see that the changes are reflecting or not okay so let me uh, do the deployment of the application first right so let me click on the install okay and for that let me select the file code file that i have so my testing application is hrapp.war file let me select that one so i am going to deploy this as an application okay so for deployment i am going to use all the standard options and let me select the target as my all of the servers in the cluster i have two many servers in the cluster and then i will go with this uh, default options for the deployment right and then let me click on the finish 
okay so this will deploy my hr uh, application on the cluster where i have uh, two managed servers are running okay and my domain is in production mode okay so let me activate the changes so after activating the changes and i will see the status of my deployment okay this is prepared okay so why it is prepared because my uh, domain is in production mode so i have to start this application okay so let me go to control tab and then let me start the application serving all requests okay so based on the size of your application it will take some time for to activate the application so now you can see my application is activated right and to test let me test the url of my application okay right so this is the uh, front end of my application okay and how i am accessing the application this is the important point i am accessing this application is slash hr app okay this is the context of my application that i have deployed so now what we will do is we will generate an deployment plan using this particular uh, var file and in that file we will define a context new context for my application right and then i will de redeploy with my de new deployment plan and then i will try to access my application with the new context okay so that context context we, I will, we will not modify in the code we will change that context value in the deployment plan right so now this is so what i will do is for that we need to do certain changes in our uh deployment plan but before that one we need to generate the deployment plan okay so now how to generate the deployment plan using that particular uh code file var file is this is the utility so for we have to give java weblogic dot plan generator hyphen all and then the complete path of your var file okay so my var file let me go to the location where i have my var file so i have in c drive and then it is in uh, deployment plan okay deployment plan here i have deploy plan so here i have my var file okay so what i need to do is i have to run so i haven't specified the complete java path in the environment variable so i have to give the complete path of the java right so this is the java then we have to give the web logic plan dot generator okay so this we have to give so let me specify it here and after that you have to give your file name okay so our file name is hrf okay what is saying the class is not found or load main class is not generated okay so now this could be the reason because i haven't run the environmental file right so what i will do is i will uh, mention the complete path of weblogic.jar which is the main configuration file of our weblogic which contain all of the utilities that is provided by the uh, weblogic right so for that one let me um, go to the this particular location the location of that file is weblogic home server and then lib so here we have a file called weblogic.jar okay so this is the file that we need to specify with the complete path okay let me try for that one if it is not work then we'll go for the different options so let me first specify here java and then hyphen cp this is the class path so that means we are specifying the uh, weblogic.jar in the class path Okay, and uh, along with that i have to specify the iphone all option okay so let me run this one and now we can see that it is generating the plan and you can see that the plan file is generated now okay so now let me go to the location okay this is the deployment plan and now you can see here the plan file is generated right so let me open this uh, plan file let me close the older files okay so this is the plan file which is generated now so now what exactly we need to do is i have to change some variables to change the context root of my application right so for that we have to search for the web logic web app context root right so search for this entry so first you will get this entry with the variable descriptor okay so we have to change two values for the same descriptor one is inside the variable descriptor 
okay and second time the value that we are going to change which will be under the variable assignment so what happens is that in the plan file you have a variable and for each variable you have a corresponding variable assignment values so if we are changing any at the variable level the same we have to change at the corresponding variable assignment level as well okay so let us first we change at the variable level so what exactly what we are going to change here is we are going to replace this particular uh, nil equal to true value okay this we are going to change with the new context of our application so let me override it with hr slash hr so what is this this is our new context okay so if you remember how we have accessed the application currently we are accessing with the hr app this is the context of application that we are using for accessing our application right so now what i am doing is that i am changing the context to slash hr okay and we will try to access the application with less hr context after the redeployment using the deployment plan right so this is the first value that we have changed right and the second value that again we have to change this will be under the variable assignment and we have to look for the again the the same context root okay here you can see the context root is with the id 1707586068028812 right and again search for the context root okay so now you can see that this is the variable assignment corresponding variable assignment of the same okay and now what exactly we need to do is let me see uh, where is the value of that particular assignment okay let me again verify the value it is 1707586068208811 okay and this is the same right variable assignment okay so now here what exactly we need we need to change this to the value and we have to add one more parameter parameter here uh, this is plan based and then the replace option okay so this we need to add after the web logic web app okay so here what we are doing is we are um adding plan based okay and then operation as replaced right so this is we have written under the same variable assignment right so this is a variable assignment for the context root where we added the plan based and then operation as replace let me save this one okay so now this plan file is saved right so what we need to do we have to update the application but again after updating the application we are going to select the deployment plan path right so let me go back to my deployments lock and edits and then click on application click on update so now you can see that currently there is no deployment plan right so we have to change the path for our deployment plan so this is the plan file that we have right click on next so now here you can see that there are two options are coming update the application in place and second redeploy this application using the following deployment plan okay so this is the in place deployment that we have done earlier so now what we are doing we are redeploying this application along with this particular deployment plan that we have created now click on next and then click on finish okay so now it will take some time for the reactivation of your application based on the size of your application and again the size of your deployment plan file okay so once it is done click on the activation okay and now you can see the application is in active state okay now if we click on the application now you can see here the deployment plan is the same deployment plan that we have specified during the redeployment of this application that we now we have redeployed the application using this deployment plan and what we have defined in this plan is we are going to change the context suit okay so for example you can consider it as an we are going to redeploy the same code in a different environment but there we want the application context bit different right so in that case we don't need to change the code we just need to create a deployment plan file we we can give the context suit and then we can redeploy the application using that particular deployment plan file okay so now go back and do the testing of the applications and now you can see that our application context is slash hr so that means we can able to access the application with the slash hr context in this environment and if we go with the previous one this will not be accessible okay so now application is accessible using the slash hr context with a new context and this context we have defined in the deployment plan which is exist outside the code file and this 
context is overwriting the context that we have defined in the code and this is how your deployment plan works thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video